Hi guys, uh, DCS World Normandy 1944 Alpha. It's just been uh, released for the backers who backed $140 or more. Um, so if you're one of those uh, users, check your emails for the uh, information. Um, if you didn't back $140 or more, um, I'm sure you won't have long to wait before uh, everybody's in the Alpha. Uh, keep an eye on the forums and uh, official announcements for that. Let's take a quick look. If you are a backer, you'll see prompts come up. Um, you may act, you will have to activate twice. Don't worry about that. And with the testing keys, you get these prompts that come up, and you have to click OK uh, once you're activated. But it's not a problem. I'm not going to do a long uh, video. This is just a brief. Uh, Look at it. I'm sure there'll be plenty of other YouTubers and uh, screenshots uh, coming soon. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Let's uh, get in a Spitfire. Here we go. There she is in all her glory. When you do get in, have a play about with your options and uh, adjust the options to your liking. Um, you will have to have a play around to get a good balance between your FPS and eye candy. But uh, it's all personal preference and everybody's machine's different, so uh, take your time setting up and you'll be fine. I have got mine set a little bit too high at the moment. I do prefer higher FPS, um, especially for multiplayer. Um, let's see what we're getting now. Yeah, around the 40 marks to uh, 70 or 80. I normally get, um, when I'm in the air, about 100 plus frames, and on the ground about 50, but um, I need to adjust my settings a bit because I was. Uh, testing different settings earlier anyway nice and short I just wanted to uh, let you know those backers who backed $140 or more have uh, now got access to the uh, alpha so check your emails if you weren't one of those backers and you backed below 140 I'm sure it won't be long before um, you get to uh, try it out as well. Keep an eye on the forums and look out for the uh, official announcements. Anyway, there we go. Thanks, guys. Enjoy.